one of the assumptions of classical test theory and all the reliability indices based on that theory is that the indicators of a scale are unidimensional measures of one construct. So what does unidimensionality mean? Unidimensionality basically means that we, have me we can meaningfully summarize the construct with a single number. So if we have multiple dimensions in a construct, construct we need multiple numbers. The idea is that uh, each indicator in, in like in a classical test theory they measure the same thing here the same thing is t and uh, the indicators all capture t plus some random noise and this is the statistical model for unidimensional measurement. This is also known as the factor analysis model. So why is unidimensionality important? Why can't you just summarize distinct things into a, into a single score? The uh, reason, reason can be understood with an example. So uh, let's take a look at this example. We have uh, a score defined as a uh, person's height plus person's weight and we take a sum we call that person's size. So the problem is uh, which one is bigger, the, uh, the tall and skinny person or the short and fat person? We cannot really say because uh, the concept of a big person relates to both of, of those concepts. You can say that a person is big if they're tall or they're big if they are just heavy. And uh, let's also say my size is about 250 using this, uh, this uh, score. So what does it really tell about me? I could be a tall and, and skinny person if we want to uh, study whether I'm a good athlete or not being tall and skinny or being short and fat they probably have different performance consequences. If I'm tall and skinny I could be uh, a good long distance runner. If I'm short and fat I could be uh, good in sports that require strength for example. So there are these are two different kinds of people. We cannot say that these are equivalent. The idea of uh, unidimensionality and unidimensional scale is that we can summarize all relevant information about the construct being studied with one number. With, with person size we need two numbers. We need at least at least two numbers height and weight. We can also have shoe size and whatever but uh, the height and weight are the two most important ones. Why is this important? It is because if we uh, try to uh, theorize the causes or consequences of our, uh, our person size score the causes and consequences of being heavy and being tall are different. So uh, for example if uh, I would go to uh, and try out in a basketball team the coach would say that I'm too small for basketball. My size is 250 then uh, the average size of a person in the team is 300 so I'm too small. So how do I uh, make myself larger? I could uh, eat more in which case my size will become uh, bigger. I'm a fat but that uh, I'm a, I would be a fat person and I still wouldn't make it to the team because the others would be uh, tall and skinny in the team or, or anyway tall. And uh, the same thing uh, we can influence only one of those. So if you're saying that you have a cause of, of person size then at least for the adult population the only way you can influence your size is uh, by changing your weight by eating more and exercising less. So these uh, concepts of height and weight are distinct dimensions of the high level concept of, of person size. It doesn't make any sense to take a sum of those. This is relevant for uh, business research because you oftentimes see uh, constructs such as uh, entrepreneurial orientation which is uh, defined as three main dimensions of innovativeness, proactiveness and risk taking. You have a uh, product mix uh, called our marketing mix uh, consisting of product, price, place and promotion and then you measure each of those, uh, di those dimensions separately. Sometimes researchers still generate one score that is supposed to summarize those dimensions. That makes as much sense as summarizing person size as uh, the sum of height and weight.